Welcome to section 6.8b. All right, gentle people, what I want to talk about in this lecture is this new concept called the reaction quotient. So the reaction quotient is signified by the letter Q. So let's start out with a general equilibrium reaction. A plus B gets me C and D with my coefficients in the little letters. So Q is going to be products over reactants raised to their stoichiometric coefficients. Now what you'll note is that this is the same thing as K. However, there is one major difference. K is always at equilibrium, whereas Q is used as an assessment tool. We can go ahead and evaluate the reaction at any point in the reaction whether it's at the start or at equilibrium or anywhere in between. The purpose of Q is to tell me, am I at equilibrium? And if I'm not at equilibrium, how will the reaction shift so it can get to equilibrium? So with that said, let's go ahead and do this quiz question right here. So given all this information right here with an equation, a K value, and our concentrations tell me, is this system at equilibrium? All right, so if you ever want to evaluate if something's at equilibrium, what you're going to do is you're going to use Q. In this case, we are after QP, and just like QC, we're just going to do products over reactants raised to their stoichiometric coefficient. So in this case, the pressure of N2 times the pressure of O2 divided by the pressure of NO, and I'm gonna go ahead and square that. So I'm gonna plug in my values for QP, 0.11, 2.0, and then on the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and put 0.1, and I'm gonna square it. Now, if I go ahead and evaluate this, this is 2200, or 2.2 times 10 to the third. Now what you'll notice is that QP and K are different numbers. Now if they are different numbers, that means that I am not at equilibrium. So if I'm not at equilibrium, which way is my reaction gonna go? Am I gonna make more products or am I gonna make more reactants? And this is what Q is going to tell you. Now, what you have to remember is that everything is going to go to equilibrium. And so if Q equals K, well, I'm at equilibrium and I'm not going to make products or reactants. Those concentrations are going to remain the same and everything is fine. Now, let's go ahead and think about what happens if Q is greater than K. So remember what Q equals? Q and K both equal products over reactants raised to their stoichiometric coefficient. Now, if Q is larger, meaning it is bigger than my K, well, that means that I have too much products. If I have too much products and everything wants to go to equilibrium, well, that means that I'm going to have to decrease the number of products and I have to increase the number of reactants. So what I want to do is I want to run my reaction in the reverse fashion. I want products to become reactants. Now, if Q is less than K, that means Q is a smaller number. Well, that means I need to increase this value. So that means I have to make more products. If that's the case, I need to get my reactants to convert to products, or I'm going to shift my reaction to the right. And so this is the value of Q. It tells us if I'm going to make more products or if I'm going to make more reactants or if I'm at equilibrium itself. So let's go ahead and test your knowledge on that. Let's do this quiz. Here are the conditions. Here's an equilibrium reaction. Here's my K and here are my initial concentrations. Tell me which way is the reaction going to shift. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's our equation. And so we want to assess where this reaction is. And so remember, whenever we do an assessment, we're going to use Q.
So my QC in this case is going to be my products CO squared divided by my reactants and this is going to be CO2 and we're going to not count my carbon because it's in its solid state. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my values 0 0.1 squared divided by 0 0.342. Now, if I do the mathematics to this, 0 0.029 is going to be my QC. Now, what we'll see is that QC is going to be less than my K value or the K that I gave you. Now, if this is the case, I need to make more products. If I need to make more products, then I have to shift my reaction to the right. All right, Kim 1B, I hope that made sense and remember to stay safe.